6.9, Chase Rice, three chords, and the truth, 829, a little bit of sunshine and some clouds, too. 65 degrees, northeast winds anywhere from 5 to 15 miles an hour. And uh, we have uh, Coach Mike Green from the Dakota College of Botno. And uh, congratulations on a uh, season for baseball. It was, it was a very good season. <clears throat> we tied the tied the record for most wins. Mm -hmm. um, the team from 2000 was 28-16. We were twenty and fourteen, so we'll, we'll, we'll just say it. We'll just say it with discrepancies and everything. It was the best season ever. Yes, we'll go with that. We'll, we'll go with that. It yeah. just sounds better on the resume, it does. doesn't it? Right, well, doesn't it? You tried to get twenty nine. <laughs> you would have had twenty nine if you'd had just one more game. One more game had or one, one call at the end. Or... <laughs> right, You're exactly. Right, exactly. A lot of close games and, a, and not, the kids were great, weren't they? Yeah, we had a, we had sixteen sophomores. Mm -hmm. There's a lot for junior college. It is. You're right. It is. So, you know, maybe a local. You know. If you're a huge local college that has a bunch of kids from you know Bismarck or something, mm -hmm. 16 is probably maybe normal. But you know, getting people from all over the United mm -hmm. States come out here to get 16 back, I thought was a big compliment. Nah, uh, what we're trying to do is you get them, got to get them in here, right? And then you got to retain them. Yes. And we did that, and then uh, graduated them. Some some may come up a couple of credits short, and some are really close. Uh, <laughs> graduated most of them, and then. Uh, uh, then got them on to four-year schools. We had like six kids signed with four-year schools. Oh wow! And two, two or three more that should should play college baseball. We can kind of mm -hmm. find them a spot. <clears throat> well, I, I think that's that's an amazing. For, and for a two-year school like this, I mean, obviously they're getting their academics and, and and a great academic experience here. But the sports experience is something they're going to look back on so uh, so fondly as well. Oh yeah, they you know, it becomes a family right away. Yeah, right. And, um, a lot of the sports, you know. There's a fall sport, or basketball goes, you know, from November to February, or whatever. Mm -hmm. But we start day one, and we go to we got past schools. We can have up to up to about twelve. Is that a Star Wars reference, or a Star Trek <laughs> reference? The red shirt. <laughs> okay, no, maybe no. not. <laughs> uh, yellow and blue too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Just red ones. Uh, the um, uh, the sports season again. It starts off fairly early, like you said. And then these kids get to know each other, and you get to know the kids. Kids get to know you. Uh, and I, I, I know I've asked you this before, um, different seasons, but uh, overall, how would you rate this team compared to the teams you've and you've you've coached all over the United States? This was States. the best offensive team I've ever had for baseball, for whatever level it's at. Mm -hmm. We could score runs like crazy. We, we were we actually were, we were the number one team in batting average and on base percentage in Division Two JUCO. So there's wow. 100, 135 teams. Serious? Okay, had, cool. We had the best batting average of 135 teams. Wow. Now the fact that our 135 teams in our ERA was 80th or so that was that was <laughs> that was the problem. But let's we concentrate pitched, on we the positive. Pitched, we pitched really well. We just had we didn't have the depth to play 20 games in 20 days, which right because of the weather we got stuck like that. If we played mm -hmm. four games every weekend, we had a lot of pitching for that. But the games all got jammed up. And we mm -hmm. played. I swear it was more than 20 in 20 days, I think. So, But still, and to do that and then have the record that you did, it's pretty great. Yeah. Well, the other team is in the same boat, so they're, they're throwing right. a number seven pitcher. And we, we, right. We had a tennis <laughs> pound on number seven pitchers. <laughs> and 15 right. runs and stuff, yeah. That's right. So it was the best offensive team I've ever had. And um, it was a good group of guys, and they... Uh, it's gets really sad when when it's over. Right. I finally over, it's been a couple weeks, so the first few days don't really know what to do. Right. Yeah. But yeah. You can kind of wish it. Would love to have got just even just for to play a scrimmage game or when I just throw, <laughs> throw the ball around a little bit. Uh, so looking forward to next season. I mean, what do we what do we have for prospects? Next year seems to be a little bit different than this one. It's we have a lot of pitching. Um, mm -hmm. We got Ryan Moormeyer coming back. He was all region, <clears throat> and at the end he was throwing. He was throwing complete games, and, and okay. him and Eduardo Vega are coming back. And at the end of the year, those guys were—they're uh, both young, and they're—you know—they're going to get. Well, Marmar's a big guy, but Vega's from Puerto Rico, and he's starting to fill out and get bigger. Mm -hmm. He was a young 18-year-old, so <clears throat> we got—we got a lot of pitching, a lot of defense. So it'll be a little, little bit different team, a lot more six to three ball games than. Fifteen to twelve. You know. Okay, so uh, so having said that, I mean, do you uh, do you foresee? Um, you're gonna have to coach a little differently then too, aren't you? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's just you got you take what you get, and then you know you take what you have for players, and you make the team. I don't know. It's, it's kind of fun to score 15 runs, but it's kind of we can't relax when you're up five or six runs. You no. still when you can't relax. It's, <clears throat> I've had both. I've had both kind of teams. I have a team where God, we can't score four runs, but mm -hmm. we, can, we can stop everybody. We can't score any. I don't mm -hmm. know what's more frustrating, but. <laughs> Fifteen, twelve, or three to two—you know, every right. game. But, oh, right. But we should we should still be able to hit next year. So okay, 
next year's team we'll get to try to get the 29 wins. You, nice you, you're going to get that record, aren't you? Yeah, we'll get it next year. You've been here how many years now, Mike? Two. Two? Okay. Two. So these, oh, were, geez. these were my guys. <laughs> these were my guys. There was still like a couple from Dano left over, mm -hmm. or a couple guys that were still here. <clears throat> but now next year's team is... It's all you, baby. That's my, yeah, I've recruited them all, so that's yeah. my... It's going to be your baby next year. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully that... Uh, I, I I can't imagine why uh, you wouldn't be able to get, at least get close to that record again. We'll be right in there. We'll yeah. be right in there. It's... it's uh, you never know. I mean, we didn't have injuries until the – we had a little hard, hard luck at the end, but mm -hmm. we were injury-free going in. Had a couple couple things I've never seen in baseball before at mm. the end. We had pretty good luck um, most of the year, but then we had uh, Nick Sumsign's our <clears throat> captain, leadoff hitter, shortstop, and he uh, he had a pitch that wasn't a strike, and he didn't say nothing. Or he oh. said, he said oh, that was inside and took off. Didn't do anything out of the ordinary. Mm -hmm. And then he went to shortstop. The next pitch was right down the middle when we were when we were in the field. And he put a palms up like, come on. And I got kicked him out for that. <laughs> uh. Never seen me get kicked out for not saying anything. So he's, he's out for the championship game okay. against Williston. And he's out for the first game in the regions. And then Victor hit a home run against Williston. Comes around. They said he missed home plate, which I've never seen. I've never seen him be hit one over the fence and not get, <laughs> and get a home run taken Seriously? away. Seriously? So he then. He said something. He got kicked out, and so we lost Victor for two games. So when we got to the regions, we were missing our one and three hitters mm -hmm. over two things I've never seen before. But, but of course, in the last, very last game, it's two to two, bases loaded. We're, we're in the field, bottom of ten, <coughs> bottom of ten against Williston, and uh, they steal home. They steal home. We catch it. We, he jumps in front of the plate. He jumps in front of the plate. The guy slides into him. He says, show me the ball. He shows the ball, and he goes, safe. <laughs> and so we're done. Our season. Conspiracy That's theory. Season. <laughs> I try not to. I don't want to blame anything on anything. We, you know, we, had, not ten in, we had 10 innings and three hours to do something, but, yeah. but it was like, you're kidding me. But uh, Sometimes how, it falls on stupid luck, huh? Yeah. <laughs> or on stupid unluck. That's how, yeah. But we were 20 and 11, and we lost, we lost the last three, actually. So. Okay. But, oh, man, you were right there then. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I remember we went in 6 3 in the first game against Dakota County. It was 6 3, and we had uh, Ryan's pitched eight innings. Roll him out there for the ninth. We haven't hit him all day. And just through the hole, through the hole, mm. over the shorts. You know, mm -hmm. They beat a 7 6. Oh, I got it. Well. Right. well, next year's a whole new year, and we look forward to hearing how your, how your plans are for next year, and we'll, yeah. we'll get you back soon, all right?